Lower bracket round two of group B in the round of 32 of the WGL August Open Qualifier. Again, we follow Luna, who was just defeated by his sons. And he will play another Night Elf right there. And it's a 17-year-old in vain. 17 years, man. These Chinese. They are pushing out some nice talent. Um, we have seen him. Wait a second. Is someone playing in Vain? He's in Vain. Wait. My overlay is telling me that... Okay, everything is screwed, apparently. Why does it say Orc versus Human? It's completely bullshit. Yeah. What the fuck? Luna, undead, elf. Okay, for whatever reason, um, this was wrong. But we fix it now. And there we go. Again, the early DK harass, which I'm not a big fan of. Against the Demon Hunter especially. In vain, in the red, is the other colors correct and everything? I think so. Yes, they are. So we gotta keep an eye out on In vain. We have seen him last month already. And since then, he kept on grinding. Got a couple of points in the ladder. I don't think he was invited to this training camp we had last week. Or was he? I'm not too sure. Tried to get it an eye, but no. So again, a level advantage for the Chinese. And this is just what happens to Luna with this build. He's going Garks again on CH. I can totally understand that. Should be an easy creep on the dragons here. Thank you, Ayo Papayo, for the Prime Sub. Nice nick, mate. Hunter's Hall here in time. So he's going Dryads as well. Not playing Mass Air. Watching you and Remo is better than TI. <laughs> Thanks, man. <coughs> Sentry wards found close to level 3. And so, Gargs are coming. Again on the first map. Wow. He's getting quite a big attack. lead on the build with this. So, he's basically giving up the entire tier 1. For the early advantages in tier 2, and that is what's necessary with guards. I like it. Um, I don't like this early harass and stuff. Maybe he can creep a little more instead of that. But then the tech is not as uh, late as it is now for the Night Elf, so he's kind of forced to do that. He's expanding. Okay. This dude, Luna has a lot of builds against Night Elf, I can tell you that. Heavy damage on the DK, I definitely dislike that. So we have a Panda second, five archers. Going lores now, but he scouts the double crit. Places a sentry ward, this is perfect vision. Forces are under attack. And with that, he should be aware of, like he knows the Gargs, but does he know the expansion? I don't think so. So, Garg's flying to the base. Not going for the dragon. That could be an easy pickup here, but he wants the lores. No, it's too late for the lores. The AP is an easy task. But he's letting that slip. And if this is something that Suns didn't do at all in his game. Also that Shredder. Doesn't this crush the Gark play? It's a big investment though. Both. AP and Shredder. 
means that the dryads are even later. It's also only one lore. Players' forces are under attack. And no tier three. And there's an expansion against this. And the Garg still have use with these drakes, as you can see. Group of the Magi. Lich is gonna be sick early on. It's an interesting game, man. Definitely something I've not seen in a long time. But Panda creeps up. There's no way to deny level 3 on this map. But I feel he should go for the second dread spot already. He got level 3, so he doesn't need the creeping too much. But he can't cancel any buildings anymore. Oh, maybe I'm wrong with that. He commits to the Shredder. That's good damage, but... Oh, repair is not enough. He's losing the Shredder right away. What an opening for Luna now. I'm impressed that he finds this. I mean, no protection on that Shredder. Always wear protection, guys. But this is low lumber for quite some time. He also canceled the moon well. We'll be supply stuck soon. But in vain. He knows about this expo now. Towers are not ready. This army is pretty ridiculous. In vain is as old as this game, by the way. <laughs> so cool. Just Chinese things. Morgark still on tier 2. That's gonna be a problem. No frenzy and especially no stone form if this panda starts to level a bit more. Zapper, well done. Damn, he's using that laboratory like crazy. Big investment into the towers. Now Luna is supply stuck as well. Yeah, I watch too many Toby Wan casts, that's for sure. Expo stays up. One exit kill. That's about it. That must be the Drake. Right? He's playing the solo hero still, by the way. For fast level 5. Zip! Easiest creep of his lifetime! And Subby Mask. Ooh, that's a lot of mana. Tier 3. Still no second lore. Isn't everything too late without the second lore? Guard for his efforts. Ooh, one gets ensnared. A little unlucky. Free kill. He's again going for this fast. Two upgrades. And the focus fire is nice. Ignoring the arches for the most part until there's no other targets anymore. But the panda will be creeping 2 3 after this crap. Boom. Big level up. Players' forces are under attack. Still hunting down these archers. Only 33 supply. That's what you get when you play only one lore. Counter expansion for this. And no TP. But a potion. So he's safe. Apparently Garks. Oh, is that a great idea to go Zeppelin against Garks? Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Double kill on the archers. Potion where? A little greedy. He was walking into AP. Man, he killed so much. <laughs> the tier 2 guard play, everybody, without a lit solo hero. It's working so well. Level 5. Fastest level 5, 2019. GG! Wow. In vain, no answer. Completely demolished. Everything fell apart at tier 2. Early on. Big investment into that AP. Into the Shredder. Immediately losing the Shredder.
And yeah, then one lore, slow dryads, no counter, just big commitment. Big commitment to the Garks by Luna. That was the right choice. It's absolutely the right choice. And then this might be the last game of the day. As Yumiko is playing Bow already. Uh, no, 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 no. I got rid of this. Any other results? Uh, no. Yumiko leading, Luna leading. That would be a cool match tomorrow, man. Uh, in on on Wednesday, Yumiko versus Luna. I would watch that. It's important to. I mean, in these open brackets, it's always easy to go for Hawk or for Foggy or for Moon, like the big players. But their games are going to be pretty one-sided and. What we need to do is to showcase new talent and if we have 17 year old Warcraft players or even 23 year old Warcraft players, it's still young talent and that's kind of our task, I feel, to show them. Even though it's not getting the biggest stream numbers, even though it's not getting the biggest YouTube numbers, if we put Moon in the title, uh, especially on YouTube, you can be guaranteed that we get like 4,000 views. If we put in vain in the title, we get 500 or so. But that's an investment into the future. We have to build these people. <clears throat> so map two has started and we can join right away cool so in vain you need a win here my friend otherwise you're out echo else it is would be kind of surprising to see this work here uh, we'll see. We're still on the mission to claim the 75,000 Twitch followers. So if you want to help out, please feel free to hit the button in the upper right and follow us. In vain in the red. And Luna player's forces are a teal this time. Or Cyan. I think it's Cyan. I always confuse these freaking colors. So 1 0 for Luna. Could be an undead in the lower bracket semi-final if he does it now. We have a DK. Double crit build! Okie dokie. Keeper against this. Engine of war here. This is pretty much a blind counter. So it's really hard to ghoul rush. He's selling Alta and Tome. This is such an all-in. This is the ultimate all-in. The ultimate all-in ghoul rush. Can't bring new run of necromancy. Going for the sacrificial skull that will... F he scouted that even. So Keeper's going for level 2. He will have Treants. He's spending a bunch of mana already to speed this up and get level 2 with Entangle. Engine of War is ready to defend. We have a Huntress Hall coming for Hunts and double Engine of War. This one can be cancelled, but this leaves the second Engine of War alone. A player's forces are under attack. So this is a little bit about resiliency now. How long can he withstand? How many Moon Wells will there be? How many Treants? Good first kill by Invain. And this... Going for the Keeper here, not for the Demon Hunter slash Warden. It's so important. Ghouls are finding the Archer though. Entry kill. Uh, two ghouls for one Archer. Reinforcements are coming in. Fast and steady though. Oh, Huntress. Huntress are the perfect counter as well. 
I like these engines of war. They're pretty much just distraction. There's no chance they're coming up when they are focused. But this is so much time for the hunters. <laughs> He's getting a couple of archer kills. Getting closer to level 2, of course, especially with these... Um, with these treants. But he's close to three already, and then he has three treants with every summon. At the moment, he's out of mana, but it's nighttime. This felt like a build auto win for in vain, but maybe I'm just wrong. Hunts around. Shadow Melt, there's no dust. And he can't bring dust. A player's forces are under kill. Attack. Close to a level up now. One more. But it's also more ghouls. Okay, so he's abandoning this attack for once. What can he do now? What can Luna do to get out of this situation? Just more ghouls at the moment. He has no gold for attack or anything. He needs to get Huntress around. Did he get the dust? Yeah. Makes no real sense. Oh! Oh! Yep! That's a way to get back into this game. Spreads the damage on Hunt and Keeper. TP out. No losses for in vain, though. He's soon gonna be supply stuck. Bring in the next Eclat. Does he want to tower now? There's a little bit of space for ziggurats. T2 tech on the way. Oh, if he gets moon glaives. Ouch. <clears throat> How good are Luna's surround skills? That's the big challenge right here. So far, not too great. Got the keeper. And oh, if he's so close to the trees, kind of dangerous. I wonder why he's not going for Dreadlord. It's Aura first, no coil. We got double engine of war up, by the way. Heavily focusing on that at level 3. On paper, there's no way in vain is losing this. But people wrote a lot of bullshit on paper. So, no shadow melt. Second surround. That's how you get back into a game! With a double kill. One more coil. Two more coils, actually, if they're not burned. Keeper level three and a half. Trying to focus this, but... Uh, uh, coil. He's walking almost into his glitches out of this around. Three more coils. If this repeats, and he gets two hunts with every attack, I mean, the second hero will be massive for in vain. If he goes for a panda or a naga or an alchemist, it doesn't really matter. He's almost ready. AoE is just good with hunts. No piercing damage, of course. Still no tech. Nope, it's just mass ghouls. He's not even close to level 3, it's level 4 soon! And he feels... is he entangled? No. What a wild game this is. And uh, no TP, entangle, right click, DK down. The fourth in game 3. There's no way. Now on tier 2. He's gonna get some kind of AoE. He was fighting good, he had good surrounds. This is all he has, and Hunts are cleaning this up pretty fast. <laughs> he's rebuilding the altar. Okay, he's not giving this up, apparently. He is. That was a quick one. <clears throat> All-in strategy. 
does work a lot better against the demon hunter does work a lot better against the warden if she creeps the only build where it's absolutely not working against keeper hunts i mean the huntress was a transition but keeper in general safe creep engine in the base having summons So yeah, deciding game. Do we have a result from Yumiko? Seems like 1-1 one, one still. <clears throat> no one is updating the brackets. I'm so sad, guys. Come on. Thousand people and no one wants to update Liquipedia. That's sad. It's always hard to believe that a thousand people are watching. Because a thousand people is quite a lot. Like it's it's an entire concert venue and it's a big venue. Like a bigger medium venue. I mean, yeah, it's all over the world, it's different time zones and stuff like that, but I never got used to that feeling, and I think it's a very good thing to still be impressed by the number of thousand. So yeah, deciding game three up, <clears throat> we might have a result. Yeah, Yumiko has won that game. Against Bo 2 and O. Oh. So he will face the winner of this very game on Wednesday. Good that he recovered. I feel like he wasn't supposed to lose to Suns, but this uh, ambitious expansion next to his opponent's base it was a little too much, maybe. And the game is up. Is it? Is it? Is it? Really? Yeah. Okay, last game of the day after a three and a half hour cast. Pretty good for an open round. So will he all in again? Or is it going to be a standard game? It's definitely the deciding game of the series. Uh, Luna again and Cyan. Against the red in vain. DK, normal build so far with one crypt and nothing sold, and yeah, just normal stuff. And a keeper again. I mean, why not? It worked so well. Uh, the one game that Suns was playing against Luna. With the keeper was destruction as well. Maybe he saw that. A town is under siege. Thank you, Christbaum Spitz, for the 13 month reset. You must be very lonely in the summer. <clears throat> Hiding on the attic. Hidden under dust and other decor. Claws of attack, good start against fools. I hope you're doing well, man. Thanks. Sacrificial skull, are you kidding me? He scouts that immediately. I mean, his tier 2 expansion was good. But again, can't a keeper punish this so hard? Wisp is coming in for the dead. Can he find the perfect spot to dispel it all? Nope. But last it goes to the DK. He has to abandon this. Keeper is coming in. 
Not level two, but entry kill right away. He has two acolytes just for safety. One is getting ensnared right away. He needs damage on this keeper to scare him away. But the Treants are coming in as well. Mediocre start for the Korean. And a low level two for Entangle. Little unlucky with the Wisp right there. All of a sudden, the keeper is low, has to retreat soon. Needs to keep the keeper low. Players' forces are under attack. <laughs> In vain, playing with fire. But yeah, that's a big investment into tier one. Uh, wait, he's ha he's building a hunter sword. The fuck? Couldn't he just rush mass air? A player's forces are under attack. Okay, gonna be a quick game, I guess. Mass tier one against an expansion attempt. These guys are definitely playing off meta. Good usage of a dust. He's going to graveyard. Necessary for the spirit towers. And for fiends. Yeah, it doesn't work to play ghouls against hunters. We saw that on game two. So he needs time for that transition. There's not much mana, there's one more set of triads and it's only two, so it's not super effective. But if he cancels the tower now, oh, that was so close! And he's Engine of War rushing this as well! Oh no, there's no Blight anymore, the goo is gone! And it's exactly enough to cancel the Ziggurats and maybe even the Haunted gold mine. And then all that early game investment was for nothing. Yep, and that's exactly what happens. AOW is cancelled as well, but the Keeper summon her ass again. Prevailing against this early... Early game idea by Luna. He wanted to trick his opponent. And he's like, no, no, no. Don't fuck with me, man. I scouted your movement. I know exactly what you do. So, expansion, mass hunts. Thank you... Anti locker for the prime sub. There's a coil in a bit, but the keeper shouldn't be threatened. He's still brute forcing this expansion. I mean, at some point. In vain has to retreat to creep his stuff, but won't he come back with a big force? A player's forces are under attack. This is really tough now. But if he can establish these towers, he could be fine. The expansion for in vain is far away. He only has three hunts. The first fiends are coming. Game is not over. More ghouls coming in. Front line is good. This time he establishes the ziggurat, so at least he gets the goo. But this will take time until the towers are up. If he holds this, he got the expansion pretty much. Oh my god. What a slugfest. Like, level 3 keeper now has one more set of treants. Expo at 50%. Uh, trying to single disable the fiends now. If he gets one spirit tower up, that's all it. Good move by in vain to go for this gold mine, which will be cancelled. Don't even think he will take a loss right there. Nope. But the narrow is up. No coil. And it gets the acolyte. This delays everything by so much again. Okay, Huntress down, whatever. 
losing the haunted gold mine, I think, is not the biggest of deals, but send one additional one over and A build one again. Are under attack. Pfft, 25 supply. Tech running. Expo. Not really running, but, you know, moving slowly uh, to the expansion. How can he punish this? A player's forces are under attack. We got the two towers now, so the expo will come up at one point. It will just take like two minutes. And then he still needs to tech. Tech is done at two, like seventy percent. But really cool to see a different approach to this matchup. Even though it's not gonna be the cookie cutter build or anything, but just new players taking risks. I like that. Ah, new players denying creeps. I don't like that. It's a good army for in vain. Feels like he plays this with a lot of routine. Also the first ghoul rush we saw in game two. He was never really nervous or so, I feel. Felt like he had everything under control and this looks very good as well. So, second crypt now. He's very low on fiends, huh? Maybe he starts production now that the expo's up. Five acolytes. Second hero time? Doesn't have the resources. Oh, that man should not win. It's gonna be nasty. Like, web is. So far away. Web is at least three minutes away. Are under attack. Two and a half, maybe. And okay. I don't like the panda. I think an alchemist would have been way better. All right, he's the boss. Expo up and hippo production will start. Yep, exactly here. Thank you, Maikau J93 for the two month resub. <laughs> Olger Magi versus Wind Ranger with OG and Wind. Yeah, that was so cool yesterday, man. So happy for No Tail. And the other boys. I was really, really happy. I mean, I like Liquid as well, but Remo is a big Liquid fan, so I kind of have to pick someone Play else. And under the choice is, of course, going to EG. What if he can stall enough time? I mean, the ghouls are great. He's going to get some anti-air from the Merc Camp. And I, opening up that Merc Camp was something that I didn't think of, and that was really good. Yes, unfortunately for him, uh, not too much against this Wisp Repair, so he can't knock this down, but he does have a lot of piercing damage. These hunts shouldn't be a problem to tear down. The Breath of Fire on level 1 doesn't do shit. It's a lot of mercs, and they do shit, especially against fiends. I was there, a little healing. This is an all-in right there, with a approaching level 5 situation again. No mana burn, of course, but... Not having anything against these treants, not hiding against the treants. Two new fiends are coming in. 42 supply versus 45. Oh, the entangle so strong. Even fairy dragons now. The lich will be a problem. Like, he won't have a solution. Oh my god, the tech started now. We have three air units. And the tech starts now for web. He is so heavily reliant on these the mercs. forces are under attack. Because nothing can shoot up. Crypt Fiends are basically the Warcraft equivalent 
to pigs who can't look up in the sky. Fiends can shoot up in the sky. Even though it shouldn't be a big problem, right? Hellstone here. Nah, but it's level 5 for him. <laughs> On tier 1. <laughs> But yeah, the panda is getting strong. Panda is getting real strong. Shredder as well. I hope this one survives a little longer than the one before. Attack upgrades were absolutely necessary. I always feel this mass air is only working with an alchemist because of the minus armor. Prove me wrong, in vain. Prove me wrong. The number of fiends is good. Is really good. But they are lacking an ability. Zapper time? They're too ready. Ah, uh, doesn't have the gold, really. So let's go for the base. It is completely unprotected. We have a base race here. Ooh, that Breath of Fire was pretty much horrible. Oh, there was a Zapper! And he's bombing up two of the Ziggurats. So yeah, these Acolytes are falling. Focus fire on the Keeper of the Grove, but he has an Invo Potion. The Panda is too tanky. Thanks to the Ankh and thanks to the Belt. This Hero Focus is, I think, not the right idea. Tome is ready. Tier 2 as well. Coil dodged. Echoes wrecked. That was quite expensive. But he's getting wet. And it's done. He survived the no anti-air time. And I really don't like the panda. I mean, he's absolutely missing the lich. But that's coming now. I feel like... He needs to go up to 70 immediately. Is he just... He's blowing it up again. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this works again. He's distracting at the expansion. Is two zappers ready? Oh, he's distracting. He's, like, he's distracting everything. So, let's see. How this goes, the Halt of the Dead is already at 50%. He has all the time in the world to blow this up. And there is no Necropolis anymore, so we can't rebuy the Acolytes at the moment. He's chasing the hero, but that doesn't really matter. Staff out. An open fight would totally go towards Luna now, I think. Oh, 90 seconds. Until this necro is done. So he can't go tier 3, he doesn't have an orb. He doesn't have uh, destroyers. <laughs> Everything is so late. A player's forces are under attack. Usually I'm not the biggest fan. Um... At least you can get statues if you revise the shop. I'm not, usually I'm not the biggest fan of bombing the undead main. Because it doesn't do too much. If you're at tier 3 and you know the upgrades are there already. But denying the way to tier 3 if someone plays a fast expansion? Yep, so worth it. He can spend his money on items. Goes for tier 3. Hammer Valor for the panda who's really tanky. He could need something gorgeous like a pipe. Definitely not a pipe. A player's forces are under under well, the towers are bombed again. I missed the zappers. Sorry about that. That was an easy kill. He's taking out one acolyte after the next. And for this, the panda is obviously really, really, really good. And now there's no TP. We have to go for a counterattack. There is a TP though. Making sure oh, to have a lot of trees ready. Must be a TP now, right? 
Was he giving this up? He's expanding again at the bottom right. He's just giving this up. He's just giving this up. Why are you just giving this up? I think he could have fought this with all the treants. Maybe making sure that Luna has supply stuck until the end of days. And maybe he wants to stay low or at the lower part. At least he got the Necropolis back. But yeah, no double income again. Soon to be triple, uh, no, double income again. It's tough. Panda close to four. Keeper level five already. That's not going to work. So he has the double crypt. This all smells like an all in, but with a level two lit. Not really. PK is still soaking up experience. I feel like scouting is missing. Like, he has no clue about this. Or does he? A player's forces are under attack. Either he wanted to red spot this, or whatever, or he knew, but <laughs> he's getting that kill. So all of a sudden, it's one base, one base. And he's taking that fight. And there's a lot of armor, but he can't kite on the high ground. Level 3 for the Lich, that is gigantic, but the Breath of Fire as well. Oh boy, how many coils are there? Four, but he's not using them. Why not? Three fiends already dead. He's losing a lot of firepower and web. There's the first one after like 10 seconds in this fight. Shredder again taken out immediately. One invo potion. He still didn't use the level 2 Nova. That's a mistake as well. Luna can't kite back. This might be his end in this tournament. As every single fiend seems to be falling. Switching the focus now to the Lich who has an invo. Should be safe for now. But yeah, only the heroes can leave alive. As everything else is dead. Oh, scratch that maybe. GG. In vain. Another 17-year-old Chinese talent is in the day two. That will be played on Wednesday. He will face Yumiko. And that should be cool. That should be really cool. It was a fun little stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for all the subs and the three donations we got today. We will continue tomorrow at 1 p.m. CEST with Group C. That's Foggy's group. Looks like this. Uh, Foggy versus Wodewawa. No idea who that is. OC Cini, Meteor Super BT, Ice Orc versus Rojin Wook. These are our players for tomorrow. Um, group D will... I don't know if someone else is streaming this. Uh, but it has Moon and 14 Sway, so it's pretty cool as well. But they won't meet, so we're going to skip that. Today we saw advancing Huck, Hawk, uh, Sari, and Bike. Ah, Shao Kai is, I think, still playing against Bike in Group A, so they will decide about that. In our group, we had Czech Sons, Yumiko, and In Vain. And yeah, getting ready for tomorrow, one p.m. Hopefully with Remo. Not too sure. I will try to catch up with some sleep and see you guys on social media. Make sure to follow us. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, everywhere. Links are in the description. Either here on the VOD or live on Twitch. You can also subscribe here on Twitch. Get the replay packs, no ads, emotes, all that good shit. And, of course, support us via donations if you want to. PayPal, credit card, cryptocurrency. You can use all of that. Buy our merchandise at shop.backtowarcraft.com. Use our Amazon referral links if you buy a new TV or just new boxer shorts or whatever underwear you like to wear. I don't care. Uh, think of us. Amazon.backtowarcraft.com is the ref link. And, yeah. Watch without adblock. Uh, support the Warcraft scene. We need Liquip Liquipedia editors everywhere we need organizers we need hosts just you know join our discord let us know or, or contact our boy duro he knows where to put you as well that was the first day of the august qualifier round of 32 in the open division tomorrow group c in another round of 32 so let's scout some talent and follow our boy foggy 
Thanks for tuning in. Have a nice Monday and in general, a great week. Stay cool. Support your favorite streamers. They need it, especially in the summertime. Bye-bye.